The 52nd annual Moab Easter Jeep Safari kicks off in just a few short days. Every year, throngs of off-road enthusiasts descend upon the Utah desert for a week of hardcore wheeling. And to help celebrate this big event, the folks at Jeep and Mopar have built seven custom concept vehicles. And they just unveiled them at their top secret design dome here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Take a good look because this might be the only time you see these rigs clean and shiny since all of them are running and driving vehicles and you can bet they'll be used extensively out in Moab. Working our way down the line, we start with the Jeep Sandstorm concept, a blocky brute that looks like a pumpkin made of Lego bricks thanks to that screaming orange paint. And unlike most Wranglers that tend to focus on rock crawling, this machine is designed for high-speed desert running. Accordingly, it features monstrous 39-inch tires mounted to 17-inch beadlock rims. Front suspension travel measures 14 inches, while the rear clocks in at a whopping 18. Power is provided by a 392 Hemi V8. For more fun, you can row your own gears thanks to this concept's six-speed manual transmission. Next up, another modified Wrangler. This one is called the Four Speed, and it's all about light weighting. Trimming fat, designers managed to take 950 pounds out of this little Jeep. Delivering that near half-ton reduction, the fenders and hood are made of carbon fiber, and there's plenty of aluminum. Beyond that, the body has been shortened by 22 inches, even though the wheelbase remains the same. Under hood, it features a stock JL powertrain, in this case a 2-liter turbo 4, augmented by a mild hybrid system. This modified Renegade Trailhawk is called the Butte. Less aggressively customized than the previous two Jeeps we covered, it's nonetheless been lifted by about an inch and a half, and it rolls on larger tires. Designers were going for a modern military look, something those new fascias and wider fender flares give it. Ditto for that rugged tubular roof rack. Aiding off-road capability, the front stabilizer bar has been removed for greater suspension articulation. Of all the concepts here, this one is undoubtedly my absolute favorite. It's a 1965 Wagoneer that has been completely restored from the ground up, but as you might have guessed, the folks at Jeep couldn't leave it at that. For starters, its C-channel frame got fully boxed for far greater strength, and in the process, technicians stretched its wheelbase by five inches. The stock leaf springs were also jettisoned in favor of a coilover suspension arrangement. There are disc brakes, a steering system borrowed from a JK Wrangler, and locking differentials. Now, the Wagoneer road trip rolls on 33-inch BF Goodrich mud terrain tires. Giving it plenty of giddy-up is a 5.7-liter Hemi V8 matched to a four-speed automatic gearbox. This rig provides the look and feel of a classic Jeep with improved performance and capability. What's not to love? That's right, nothing. Named after that paint color, the Nacho Jeep is a two-door Wrangler Rubicon that showcases a broad array of Mopar aftermarket components and accessories. Almost everything you see here is available from dealerships right now, from its steel bumpers and winch, to that suspension lift kit that raises the body two inches, to those tubular doors, to the super bright aftermarket lights that crank out 40,000 lumens, though they're not available just yet. There's even a nifty fold-down work surface that mounts to the rear hatch. Clever. The J-Wagon is a four-door Wrangler Sahara that's more about looks than all-out capability. Oh, it'll still climb mountains, but it emphasizes everyday usability. Bulked up with Rubicon fenders, its suspension has not been lifted, believe it or not, even though it rolls on aggressive 35-inch tires. Further looking the part, it's got tinted glass, combination sill guards and rock rails, plus an off-road snorkel kit, which will be available come May. Also, you've got to love that catskin leather interior, complete with contrast piping. Mm -hmm. Finally, we come to the Jeepster, which is perhaps the sportiest looking vehicle in this seven concept range, thanks to that vibrant red and white paint job. Like a hot rod, its roof has been lowered by about two inches, and its windshield raked by an additional two and a half degrees. Even its doors have been modified with a little dip down, which really seems to open the cabin up. Functional changes include a two-inch suspension lift and 35-inch tires enveloping beadlock rims. And in case you should get a flat, the back seat has been replaced by a spare tire mount. 
They've been building concept vehicles to celebrate the annual Moab Easter Jeep Safari for, gosh, at least 15 years now. And as always, they clearly demonstrate all the cool ways that you can upgrade your own Jeep, whether you've got a vintage Wagoneer or, of course, a brand new JL Wrangler.